Okay, so I'm doing an update and review here on my 2002 Toyota Camry. I did make a video on this one a couple years ago. I've owned it now for about, uh, I want to say, three, three and a half years. And I still keep this beauty on hand, and there's many reasons for that. I'm going to be going over that with you here as we go over the vehicle. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, what I've done to it in the time that I've owned it, and uh, if there's any issues that I've been facing, anything like that. Um, but anyways, so I'm going to start here from the outside, obviously. Um, I put new tires on it, some nice Michelins, pretty darn good tread. I put those on about a year ago. Um, I haven't really driven this thing much, so haven't really put uh, taken too much off the tire wear there. Um, the body is completely straight as it was when I purchased it a couple years ago. The only thing is it's been sitting in the sun, so this type of blue color, especially on paint jobs on these older Toyotas, is that they will tend to start peeling on the clear coat. And actually over there, I don't know if you can see it or not, there is a little bit of clear coat peeling there. Um, not a big deal though, not really concerned. It's on the top only, so uh, that's pretty much the only cosmetic thing on the exterior that uh, is really going on other than this little ding. I think somebody slammed their door into it or something. I don't know what happened there, but other than that, the uh, car on the outside is the way it, it was pretty much, other than those two things that I mentioned, when I purchased the vehicle. So even on the inside, I haven't really cleaned the inside or outside really, but um, haven't really been driving it much. But I mean, just the overall condition of the interior, uh, for a 17 year old vehicle as well as the exterior. I mean, it's really held up well. Even the steering wheel is just in, in excellent condition. Um, cloth, no rips, no stains. I mean, everything is truly held up very well for its age. And um, now this vehicle has 200,000 miles. Well, actually just about to turn the clock at 200,000 miles. And you can see everything is just held up very, very well over the years. Just taking a look on the other side of the vehicle, you can see everything is same condition, very nice and clean, haven't had to do any detailing. The interior again, very, very nice, clean as can be, love it. Um, still have the original Camry floor mats. I found one interior defect, which is on the passenger side <laughs> airbag, and you can see right there, that it's ripping a little bit on these vinyl covered um, dashboard there and that's actually the only thing going on in the entire interior of the car uh, that's worn at all so thank god it's only that and of course we got the 60 40 split folding seats here that work absolutely excellent i got a lot of junk in the trunk but everything works just as it did when I bought it. Works just like it did probably when it came out of the factory. So that's very nice. Got a bunch of stuff back here, but. Okay, so just looking under the hood here, you can see it's been sitting under the tree, plenty of leaves there to give that away. One cool thing that I, I really like about this is that I haven't even had to change out the hood shock, which generally these do go out, um, especially with the miles on this one at 200,000. So I'm very surprised that that's still holding up for the mileage that the vehicle has. Um, also, generally, uh, the uh, valve cover gaskets go out on this one. This one doesn't have that issue. It doesn't actually have any leaks whatsoever in this car, which is pretty amazing, and I'm very thankful for that. Um, actually the AC compressor, uh, it does look like it had a little bit of leakage, uh, coming off of it. Uh, but the AC works great in this car. And everything is very clean in here. Everything looks good. Dry. Put a new battery in this one not too long ago. First of the year. Um, actually, you know what, it, it does look like one of the motor mounts here is a little blown out. Uh, but the rubber on the inside looks fine. Uh, looks okay. It's wearing out, but needless, still works great. Car runs great. Um, so let's just go take it for a drive right now, and I'll tell you about how it feels on the road after the three years of ownership and for the miles that it has. So you can see 199,210 miles. About to turn the clock at the 200K mark and join the club. Starts up perfect. 
does look like I'm gonna have to get some gas, but again, I haven't driven this one in a while. So I'm just gonna get this thing on the road, test it out, and we'll go from there. So, cool thing is, is when you put it into drive from park, automatically all the doors lock, so that's a cool feature about it. I do like that. I'm used to driving older vehicles, so it's nice to have that feature in a vehicle of this age and this era. So, as I'm getting on the road here, I mean, it's just absolutely smooth. The suspension is amazingly smooth. I think also the help of the Michelin tires uh, that I put onto it. So that's pretty much the only thing that I've done to this car other than an oil change or oil changes in the years that I've owned it. Mechanically, this vehicle has been just absolutely sound and has been a dream to own. Um, everything on this car is cheap to repair. Um, it's easy to do. I haven't had any issues with a lot of the basic things that go wrong with these cars. Uh, again, I'm almost at 200,000 miles. And it's very nice because even at 40 miles an hour, you don't really get much road noise at all from the road, uh, even actually at higher speeds. Um, one thing that I am gonna have to do with this car that I haven't done uh, that will need to be done is that I'm gonna have to resurface the rotors when I'm coming to a stop I notice that the steering wheel starts to shake a little bit it's the rotors are starting to get a little warped that happens on this era Toyota not a big concern uh, and a very easy thing for me to do and take care of but um, as I'm going here I just I mean the steering on this thing is, is another thing that I really enjoy about this car the steering is so smooth. It reminds me of the 2015 Honda Civic that I had owned at one point. And I mean, just how easy it is to turn the wheel. Um, it's just, it's such a delightful experience. I love it. One of the things that, I think one of my favorite things about this car is just how smoothly it drives because when you hit the gas pedal, it's super easy to touch and go. Uh, the brakes are easy. Uh, to touch and, and come to a stop but everything with this car is just so smooth everything is so smooth and I love that about this vehicle I really haven't put any money into it other than tires and oil changes which are basic over the years not even brakes or anything else again I'm gonna be doing the resurfacing of the rotors um, but other than that I haven't done anything to this car and over three three and a half years of ownership that's really nothing for a vehicle uh, with 200,000 miles and 17 years old. And I really look forward to many, many more years and uh, miles out of this car. I hope one day that I'll be able to get this thing over 300,000 miles without issue. And I really look forward to that. Pardon the shaky screen here, uh, going over some bumps. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to give you a review and update of this car. Um, and just how delightful it is. I mean, if you're out there in the market looking for a car that gets great gas mileage, which this one does, I uh, average on the highway, I would say probably around 31, 32 miles a gallon, depending how heavy you were on the gas. Um, reliability, I mean, as I said, I've owned it for that many years and not had any issues at 200,000 miles. You see these cars up for sale with 200, 300,000 miles and they still want a, a decent price for these cars and there's a reason for that. Um, and that's what I was trying to get through to you guys today is that these cars are very reliable, um, super fun and nice to drive. I mean, they're really, really pleasant. They're, a, you know, the way these things were built is actually ahead of their time. So, you know, like I compared it to my 2015 Honda Civic, um, this one's just been a dream and, and it drives just as nice, if not better, than my uh, 15 Civic. So just the build quality of these cars, um, there's really no road noise and and they're very easy to operate and maneuver. Um, and I just absolutely love it. So if you're in the market for one of these cars, I would highly recommend it for any new driver or any experienced driver that just wants a super reliable, good commuter car. And this is definitely it. So. Let me know if you have any questions about these cars um, because I, I know quite a bit about them um, and I know quite a bit about this one um, that it's just it's just a great car. Um, it'll save you a lot of money and long-term ownership. So um, I would recommend it to you. 
But um, that'll be it for this video. Just wanted to give you an update on my years of ownership uh, and the things that I've had to do with it, which is next to nothing. And um, I hope that, uh, again, like I said, I'll, I'll be able to get this thing over 300,000 miles, no issues. And at this point, that's definitely not far off. Okay, so that's gonna be all she wrote for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will be bringing some more videos your way. I hope you enjoyed this one. Stay tuned. Till next time.